I can't believe I'm being sacrificed, shark. Ugh, this is the worst. This is James Bartholomew. This is the worst, James. Ah, it's coming for me! Greetings, cornerinos, and welcome to the Ian's VR corner that may just finish me off completely, because today I'm going to try out 10 of the most stupid and extreme things you can do in VR in GTA 5 real vr mod starting with number one from mr tom for the win throw myself off a skyscraper without a parachute um holy shit the draw distance might not be great but um as someone who has a fear of heights there is still quite a sense of depth here which is insane I already feel like I might do a little bit of a sick just looking over the edge. So, um, I don't think this is going to be good fun. I'm going to have to keep my eyes open all the way down. Holy shit, there's a plane. Okay, um, so I think A is run. I'll take a little bit of a step back. <laughs> Holy shit. Screw you, Mr. Tom! Wow! Oh, God. Oh, your body flips and flops around. Oh, that's... Oh, fuck. That is vibrating as hell. Oh, God. Oh, I died. To be honest, that wasn't as bad as I, uh, as I thought it would be, thanks mainly to the fact that my body just um, flipped around and I couldn't judge how far down I was falling. It did feel a bit weird, and standing on the edge was crazy terrifying. Um, and that moment of jumping as well gave me a bit of a lurch. But, um, yeah, once... Once I couldn't see the ground anymore, it, it wasn't too bad. As a little bonus for Mr. Tom for the win, um, and everyone else who suggested me throwing myself from incredibly high heights, um, I'm just riding a helicopter up as far as I can go, and then I'm going to just bail out without a parachute. That looks like a swimming pool there. I'm going to see if I can manoeuvre myself and land in the swimming pool. It's, I can't see below me. Um, I can't even turn my head. I'm falling for a very long time, though. This is quite an extreme fall down. I'm still going. All oh, this took is taking a lot longer than that top of that building. It's oh, yeah. I don't think I was anywhere near that swimming pool. Dang it! Whee! All right, this next one, number two, is from Carl Richardson, and he's asked me to surf on a train as it goes through a tunnel. Um, I haven't been able to find a train yet, but I have just found this lovely tram. It's not going that fast, to be fair, but maybe we'll find a tunnel, and if not, we can uh, at least check out some of the scenes of the nightlife here in Los Santos. It does look very pretty. This is fun and all. I definitely don't think this is as extreme as Carl was planning. So let's keep searching for another train station. I'm not going to pay my fare either. I'm out of here! Whoa! Oh, fuck! Okay, so there's a train track here. Yeah, here we go, and here's a train. Uh, I guess the first job is to get on this train. Didn't work! Ow! Oh! That didn't work out so well. All right, if in doubt, try again. This time, <laughs> this time, I'm on the same level as the trains are. Hopefully, I won't get run over. I need to um, jump onto the train while it's rolling, if I can. Hup. Yep. Okay, now I just need to make my way up onto the top of the train. <gasps> oh, God! Oh, I'm too high! Where am I? Ah, oh, it threw me off. Okay, crap. Back on. Wow! God damn it! Third time lucky. This time, I need to remember to crouch uh, once I'm on the roof of this train. What's crouch? That. Okay. Well, this is a this is a bigger train. Okay, so hopefully I can jump onto this bit. Yeah. 
I don't know if I'm going to have time to get onto the roof. So let's check it out here. There's quite a speed through this tunnel, but I think it's only a small tunnel, a short one. Yeah, here's the exit. So let's get up here. Let's have a run along the top of the train. Fingers crossed we're going to come to a tunnel at some point. Oh, fuck! Oh, I fell off again. Oh, God, come on. Get back in. Get back on. Get back on. Okay, so... Maybe surfing right at the front isn't a good idea. But we can definitely do it from this section here. Honk honk! It's a really nice way to take in the entire city, catching a ride on a train like this. Hopefully there'll be a tunnel coming up now. We're reaching the mountains. So look up top there. Oh, duck! Okay, yep. Here we go, here's the train tunnel. Ooh, hey, what the... Okay, uh... I see this one I can probably stand up in. Whee! This isn't too bad. This is not too bad. Not too extreme. A nice way to check out the city. It's just wiped quite hard to pull it off. Everybody's going surfing. Surfing GTA. Ow! Well... That was a lovely long tunnel. I guess I better do a spectacular dismount. Hi All right, so the next incredibly stupid dish on my menu of mischief is from Larry Goshenauer Jr., who says, who was asked even, if I would ride a motorbike down the wrong side of a highway. I have the motorbike, and um, it has given me a VR helmet to wear, so I'm going to be technically going to be pretty safe and I'm ready to get up to speed and then drive the wrong way down a highway on this stunt bike which they tend to, tend to go quite fast as stunt bikes so let's uh, let's get the speed up a bit um, wait until I'm full speed and wait till there's a little bit of a gap in the traffic and then I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go for it I'm gonna go right into the center oh my god this is I'm, I'm too scared to do it. Uh, there's so many... Okay, here we go. Right. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no, this is... Yeah, okay, this is probably the most uh, intense one so far. Not really for nausea, just for, like, actually having to concentrate and use what limited brain ah, capacity I have. That truck was coming right for me. Oh, my God. Okay, now, this is good. Uh, sending a few cars spinning, but at the moment... Uh, I'm, I've survived for a lot longer than I thought I would, um, which is nice. Are we still Is this still a highway? It seems to be getting a little less busy now. Look at those lovely windmills. Wow. I'm enjoying this. I'm going to be a bit more daring. Wow. I'm going to try weaving through some vehicles now. Oh, we'll clip that one. Definitely not as busy as it was back there. Tell you what, I'm going to turn around and I'm going to get back to another busy area up here. I've just come up with an extra plan, uh, one which could involve imminent death. I seem to remember you could pull wheelies while driving at sports cars and you would, uh, you would fly up the cars and perform some kind of jump. So... That's what I'm going to try and do with this car here. Wheelie! Oh, it worked-ish. And that car skidded out of the way. Let's try it on this car here. Wheelie! Whoa. No! Oh! Shit! Oh! That is one hell of a skid mark. All right. Next! Ooh. All right, as a little break after those first three extreme activities, I've decided to take Stephen Payne's advice and go get a little bit drunk. Now, um, I can't get in at Shenanigans Bar, um, and I can't be bothered to try and find any more bars, so I'm just going to activate the drunk cheat for this game, 
And, uh, and then I'm going to try and start some drunken fist fights because uh, that's a kind of um, abusive, drunken, alcoholic lout that I am. So to activate drunk mode, it is Y, right, right, left, right, X, B, left. Okay, that says cheat mode, drunk, activated. Uh, cheat, activated, drunk mode. Um, visually... Not much is happening. In fact, visually, That's nothing is happening. Um, it's not like the weed one where my visuals went wonky. But I did say I was going to start a drunken fight, so... Uh, ah! Oh! Ah! Okay, yeah, I just spun around by myself there. Okay. Not too drunk to kick your ass, dude. There we go, okay. Who else? All the cops are after me. Witnesses! 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 He's gone to sleep. Okay, what other witnesses are there? Um, oh, that's the, that's the cops. Punch the cops! No cop witnesses! Oh, God. Okay, they're shooting at me now. Run away! I've got to drunkenly run. Drunkenly run. I feel, I definitely feel a bit more sluggish, and occasionally my character wobbles to the side. But, ah, oh, I'm being shot at. You can't shoot a drunk man. Drunk people are invincible. Don't get oh, out. Okay, we're not invincible. Okay, we're half the way through the list, so it's time to get explosive in the house. Uh, this next one comes from Joanna Wanna, who has asked me to um, block up an entrance or an exit to a dual carriageway and wait for a bit of a... Uh, a traffic jam to occur before throwing in a sticky bomb and watching it explode from a safe distance. Um, I don't actually have any sticky bombs, but what I do have is a rocket launcher. So there's my rocket launcher. Now I'm just waiting for the uh, a few cars to, to pile up, and then I'm going to create my very own action movie. Okay, here we go. Boom! Kaboom! Let's just keep creating chaos. Kaboom! Kaboom! Oh, whoops, missed. Okay, so this probably isn't exactly what Joanna Wanna imagined, but she did say it was kind of like creating your very own action movie, and uh, that is exactly what I'm doing right now, because there is explosions and guns are plenty right now. Holy shit, indeed. Let's try and get some grenades in the house. Oh, no, that's not how you throw grenades. Oh, oh my, head, my head's come off my body. Okay, that's better. Up. 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 Oh, God. Okay. There are, oh, no, there's loads. So many feds. There's even a helicopter after me now, I think. Okay, we're gonna have to. I need to get it. Oh god! Oh! Wasted. Welcome to the Los Santos del Perro Pier. As I go into my next challenge, this time from I Am Crosshair, who wants me to ride the roller coaster and also. The big wheel sounds like it should be quite fun. Can I buy some gifts? Gifts at the pier. No cash is left on the premises. Uh, the gifts look a little bit rubbish and low resolution, to be honest. I think I'll leave them. It's a rip-off anyway. All right, here's the entrance for the roller coaster. I think it looks nice and uh, bright and neon. I, I like it. It's not very busy, though. Maybe a little bit run down, but uh, here's the roller coaster cars. Press the right on the D-pad to ride the Leviathan. Here we go. Okay. I am in the roller coaster. Let's go indeed. Whee! I'm at the front. There's a lovely fra a frag flag. There's a lovely flag. Okay. Whoa! Oh, God. That, wow. That launches you. Wow! Ooh, holy shit. This is fast. I can almost feel the motion in me. Uh, what? Oh, this is this is pretty nuts. It's got it's quite a speed. It's 
my brain's tricking me almost to feeling the g-force <laughs> oh. okay that was a bit spinny round okay that wasn't too bad though the first bit over the peak when it suddenly shoots you uh, was the worst I don't think the uh, the ferris wheel is going to be as extreme but I'm ready to give it a try and check out the sights it's going to be quite a romantic romantic ride I'm sure where's the here we go ride the ferris wheel the ferris whale it's the ferris whale <laughs> i see what they did there well we're gonna get to see los santos lit up with all the night lights which is quite cool there's some planes and a moon look at them skyscrapers i jumped off that skyscraper oh it was pretty scary wish i'd wish i'd uh, brought a date with me this would be quite romantic hello how's it going can i get my guns out no i can't how you doing? You look like you're having fun. All right, we're at the top. We're at the top. Oh, hello, guys. How's it going? You two also don't look like you're having that much fun. It's not very fast, is it? Well, one thing's for sure. This one was definitely one of the most comfortable and less intense activities that I've been challenged to do. Definitely a little easier on the stomach than the roller coaster anyway well there we go that's the ferris wheel done it's safe to say i've successfully done the fair for crosshair now let's go get some clock and bell i'm hungry hello again my friends it is still i ian higton and uh, i think you'll find i'm stood at the very top of mount chiliad because thanks to eton corvinus I am going to have to ride a mountain bike right down this thing. There is a, a mountain bike trail to go down. So let's go get myself to that. There we go. Oh God. So we need to come around to here. Oh, fucking hell. There's the helicopter I used to get myself here. Duck that. And this is the trail this is the rest west ridge trail which looks pretty steep to be honest i wonder if i'm going to make this it's back to break right here we go oh god oh oh god okay yeah this is it goes pretty quick i'm gonna be l using the brake quite liberally is that a, is that a wolf <gasps> shit Oh no, the wildlife. Ooh. Okay, the bike is um, quite nippy. Oh, oh no! I've come off the trail, friends! Oh, I'm in the midair! Oh no! Oh, this isn't This isn't how you're supposed to get down! Ah! Okay, I'm, I'm still alive! Ah, don't hit a tree! Okay, this is a different way to go down, but I'm still going down. Let's paddle a bit faster. Let's do a big jump! Yeah! Uh, Dave Mirror, eat your heart out! Yeah, okay, I've missed the trail completely thanks to probably hitting a wolf, but... Woo! Yeah, I made it down in one piece. This is amazing. Oh! Ow. Oh, man. Oh, man, indeed. Okay, so I didn't stick to the trail, but I came all that way down on a mountain bike. And in VR, that was, um, that was scary. That was very intense, but it was also really, really exciting. I enjoyed that. If I could be bothered to go up there again, I would do it again. But I've got many more challenges to try. Well, actually, no, I've got about three, but still. Welcome, airplane fans. You join me here in the desert where I've spawned a fresh stunt plane because Mick Doherty wants me ooh, to pull out some stunts in an airplane in gta 5 in vr now there's actually quite a few of you wanted me to do stuff in planes so i'm going to try and do a variety of things before i come crashing to a halt here we go so we're flying in the stunt plane this should be pretty maneuverable so someone wanted me to fly upside down through the city mick doherty just wants me to pull off some 
some stunts, so let's try doing a barrel roll. Wow, yeah. And uh, how's about, is this an Immelman? Or just a loop the loop? Wow, God. <gasps> <gasps> Whoa, I thought we were going to hit the ground then. I mean, this just flying around in this world is so magnificent. Just, I think I took for granted how big it was when I played the flat version. Uh, but this this world is so huge, so much to see and do. Uh, from up here, there's loads of detail, and of course, but when you get down into the ground, another little bits of incidental details pop up, you, you realise how busy this world is as well. It's just it's vibrant and full of life. It works so well in VR. I'm going to fly in between the skyscrapers normally first. If I don't crash... Actually, I'm not doing the skyscrapers yet. Someone else wanted me to fly under a bridge. And there's one there with quite a... There's a couple. God, okay, I'm throttle down a bit for this one. Fuck. Oh, fuck. And up, throttle up. Yes, I flew under a bridge. I did it. Okay, that was one bridge flown under. Now let's bank around to the right. Oh, fly between the buildings. Oh, this is nuts. Ah, don't want my wings to hit the buildings. Oh, Okay, not the most nauseous of things. It's actually, it's just bloody good fun flying planes in VR in GTA V. Um, but now, I guess, I've done a bridge. I've flown through the centre of the building. So now let's try... <gasps> fly upside down. Actually, it's quite hard to work out where I'm going to be steering. So let's get in the right way first. <laughs> Shit! Don't! Oh. Well, I tried. I tried. Oh my word, that looks choppy. Alright, well the next item on the list is from James Bartholomew Requiem, who uh, has asked me to do some deep sea swimming. Um, so I figured I would combine this challenge with riding a water-based vehicle which looks like it's going to be vom inducing with also trying to be eaten by a shark so i'm going to ride this bike out there it's going to go really far then i'm going to swim right down and hope well, i say hopefully because i think it's going to be quite terrifying um i'm either going to drown or i'm going to get eaten by a shark to death so uh yeah let's get on this um jet ski. Here we go. And I guess just a straight line. The water's quite nice here. Um, okay, here we go. Whee! Oh! Awesome! Oh, oh, this is... Oh, this is... Oh, this would definitely make someone who's not used to VR feel very poorly. Whee! It's actually not too bad. It's quite fun, actually. You've got quite a fast speed. Lovely seagull. Oh, it re really do up, go up and down quite a bit, though. I don't know how far out you've got to go in order for sharks to appear, but I'm just going to keep going. Oh, look at that plane! This is awesome. I don't know how far away is the beach now? It's quite far. I like GTA in VR. It's so awesome being able to do all this stuff and actually be inside it rather than just watch it on a screen. Wee! Woo! So many waves. I'm pretty far out now. I don't know how far this game, like, actually allows you to go out, but I, I think if I turn around now, we'll see that I'm, everything's pretty distant. Oh fuck! Uh, like, I'm actually um, I'm getting a little bit of 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 fear here, like. The same sort of fear you might have, like, in a real sea with the blackness below you, like, infinite blackness and these, like, big waves coming up. This is actually... Uh, is this making me feel like, um... 
there's more of a primordial fear almost than I had when I was standing on the side of the building. Uh, I'm not. Oh God. Okay, this is a big wave. This is. I'm at the mercy of Mother Nature now. All right. Well, here we go. Hold your breath, Ixon. Down we go. I can't see any sharks. It's probably a good thing. I mean. Okay, well, we're quite far down now. What's that? This is a little fishy. Oh, this is making me feel real weird. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna drown if I don't get back up. Oh, hang on, I might drown. Oh, oh God, come on, come on, get to the top. Oh, I drowned. Is that a shark? Nah, it's a fish. So I've had a little Google, and allegedly... Sharks are more likely to spawn at night time. So, just for Mr. Bartholomew, I'm heading out here. Right out into the choppy deep seas as the sun sets over Los Santos to see if I can't tempt a shark towards me with my delicious, tasty virtual flesh. Yeah. Sharky, sharky, sharky. So as you can see, quite far out now. Sun hasn't completely set yet. But what I'm on the lookout for, um, and you can't see this because um, for some reason the uh, the video doesn't show the mini map on the bottom left of my view. But um, hopefully at some point a shark will spawn, signified by a red dot. And then I just have to jump in the water and um, look delicious, I guess. Oh, shit. Okay, one's appeared. A shark has appeared. Crap, I was doing some emails. I've just noticed a shark's appeared. It's circling me. Um, oh, fuck, there it is. Oh, that's, oh, that's making me feel a bit sick. Oh, look at it. It's fucking giant. It's coming over. Oh, it's coming over for me. Can I bop it on the nose? I punch it on the nose. Holy shit. I can't believe I'm being circled by a shark. Ugh. This is the worst. This is James above all of you. This is the worst, James. Ah, it's coming for me. James. James, I hate you. Why can't I see it? Oh, fuck. Oh, it got me. Oh. Oh, I did not like that. Oh, I did not like that. All right, Viewingtons. I'm approaching... My final challenge of the video. This was suggested by Mr. Surfy Bird, and he wants me to steal a military jet and then do loop the loops until I puke. Now, I don't know how successful I'm going to be at doing this because I remember it being really tricky, um, and I'm probably almost certainly going to get killed, especially flying in on a helicopter. Um, I feel like they might fly some anti-air stuff at me. I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to come in low over the radar. Over the fence. Okay, I'm in the military base. Where is the jet, though? Oh! There's the explosives. Okay, that did not work very well at all. I feel like maybe I should have bailed out pretty quickly after I got over the perimeter fence and then just kind of done a legger uh, because my I didn't even see a missile come at me, I just exploded so I think low, down low as low as possible as soon as I'm over the fence drop it and escape Ow, that hurt, that hurt. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Okay, now I need to run. Uh, there is, that looks like the jet over there. Um, but the alarms are going off and there is a lot of people probably coming for me right now. There's the jet. Okay, yeah, they're angry. Oh, I'm getting shot at. Oh, fuck. Oh, this isn't good. Come on. Come on, don't die, don't die, get in the jet. Get in, get in, 
Get in. Get in. Ah! Shit. Third time's the charm. That time I got to the plane, but I accidentally climbed on top of the plane instead of into the plane. So, if I can get a little bit closer when I jump out, and also manage to actually press the right button, it might be doable. Right, down, out, and leg it. Right, fuck! Oh, God. Come on, don't get caught on doors, you absolute knobend. All right, there is already a car out. There is the jet. Oh, I'm getting shot at already. I'm ducking and diving. Oh, the, he's right there. Oh, no, I'm not going to survive this, am I? Okay, I'm, I'm in. Now I need to press and get in. I'm in. Oh, don't die, don't die. Get in, get in, get in. Okay, this is good. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, I got hit by a tank. Holy shit. Okay, yeah, that'll do it. All right, so maybe I'm a little bit out of practice with GTA 5 to be able to steal a jet, but that was still quite intense trying it three times and failing three times, I might add. Um, that was uh, that was very good fun. A lot of it was terrifying. I think the most, I think the worst thing was James Bartholomew's uh, suggestion to go deep sea swimming, mainly because of the shark attack. That was just, I've, that was just something primordial in me. Some horrible terror was inside me then. I really didn't like it. Jumping from heights wasn't as bad as I thought it would be because of the way the camera kind of locks you into an up position so you can't see the ground coming towards you. Um, oh, and I loved driving down the, uh, the highway as well, dodging vehicles and stuff, um, driving the wrong way down the highway. That was pretty awesome. So yeah, again, um, GTA 5 VR comes up trumps. Uh, the real VR mod is free to download and um, it's pretty damn awesome, even if I do say so myself. I love exploring this city and doing stupid stuff. So if you have any more suggestions for me to do in GTA 5 VR, do let me know in the comments below. And of course, do check out some of these other videos on screen now. Uh, they're all VR uh, and I do VR videos every Sunday. So don't forget to subscribe. Right, while you're doing all that kind of stuff, let's go and punch this lady in the face. Ha ha ha, and this dude in the face. He ducked, ow, my kidneys, you little bastard. Take that.